K1 to this. So, the Nintendo DSi. This thing is great. As you can see, we have a camera on the back and the front. We have an SD card slot. And most importantly, internet connectivity. Hence the little I in DSi. I can really zoom into that eye with this new camera I have. It's just my phone. So yeah, today we are going to be modding this DSi with this little pet that I made called Flipnote Lenny AIO, which we are going to take out the SD card from the... It's still in the computer. Okay, yeah, that's just me being forgetful. So we're going to open up the pack, and as you can see, it opens up in 7-zip. So we're going to go down and zoom out and extract this into the SD card right here. And okay. So now it's going to do its thing, and I'll just cut to when it's done. Alright, we're done. So now I'm going to eject. Got the card got the DSi that's the wrong side let's um am I even plugging it in the right way yes I am let's plug it in and get this set up all right we're all set up let's power on my sense of um depth is completely non-existent right now okay please enter your settings okay um English the default is pink okay um, the day, I'm just going to leave it as that. And um, time, I'm going to leave it as... Are you kidding me? Enter a personal message! Oh my gosh. Okay, we're done writing that. Okay. Enter your birthday. Fine. It's not my real birthday. This is my usual fake birthday. So, select your favorite color. That one. I want the purple. Is that purple going to show good on camera? Yes, it will. And we are loading into the menu now. We raise the camera a bit. DSi. Touch the touch screen. I'm actually going to get a little bit closer. Um, with Nintendo DSi, you can take photos using two built-in cameras. Do you want to take a photo now? Oh, I clicked OK. So what? Oh no, no, no! Get out of this. Saved photos will be displayed on the top screen. Yes, I know that. Have fun with photos. So for this exploit, I want the Flipnote Studio. Hello. Um, we skip this right-handed it's my date of birth that'll do okay i think we're almost done no we're not oh yes we are writing to the sister <sighs> it's been at that for okay we're good so i think i remember the instructions said to view flip notes on the sd card Hey, there we go. So I am going to load the European one. Edit. And um, this. This. Copy it. And then quit out of it. And then edit this one. Oh, I can't. And then this. As soon as I hit paste. Here we go. Select your language. Um, that's good. Proceed. Um, select your region. I am European, so I will select Europe. Here we go. We are in the Twilight menu. Plus, plus. My thing is... Okay, there we go. I'd say that's pretty good. So, in terms of, um, brightness actually change the brightness exposure no, I don't know exposure. I'd say there's around good 
So, um, NDS. Oh, I, I clicked on it. I want to go back. Wait, what are these? Um, DSiWare hacks installer, Nintendo DS firmware. To... I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to... And I also got God Mode 9 on here. So, um, yeah, that's Twilight Menu. Oh, Dump Tool. I loaded up Dump Tool. Um, press A to begin NAND dump. Press start to exit. Well, I'm going to do a NAND dump. So, A. Nine size, 240 megabytes. Okay, so, I'm probably going to do a time lapse for now. And, um, it seems to be going, um, kind of slow. So I'm gonna do a time lapse and then when it's done I'll get back to you. So in three, can we get the white exposure up? Where you can actually see my finger. There we go. In three, two, one. All right, there we go, it's done. So press start to exit. There we go, I did. I'm gonna move the DSi over. Oh, and it just restarted on the Twilight menu. Takes a little bit of time. All right, well, we're back. So now I believe we can install Unlaunch. Wait a minute. Um, I don't know if I'm doing this. Oh, all right, well, we're back in the Twilight menu. So let's see if I can get to the, um, to the thing. If I can't, then I, then I will, um, so I believe it was start or, or select. I believe it was select. Yes, it was select. All right. So I believe it's this. I don't know what I just did. Oh, it's Twilight Settings. DSi setting. S select a menu to show when pressing select in a Nintendo DSi set of Sega Saturn and Homebrew Launcher themes. Don't touch that. Um, I, I don't know. All right, here we go. Unlaunch settings. Okay, so. Desert Grey dot GIF. I'm just gonna go with Desert Launcher Patches. Um so changes whether unlaunch will patch the DSI menu off for no patches. Default to keep the splash screen sound um full for all of unlaunch patches. Okay, I want full. Um B. What is it going to do now? I don't know what it's going to do now, but I'm going to do this. Is it going to go into the select menu? No, it isn't. It's going to go back here. Okay. So we can load the unlaunch DSi installer and I will put the DSi back. There we go. So I want to install now. Oh, installation complete. Nice. So, um... Hit the button i would like to power down i cannot use my right hand unfortunately so we're going to power it on and here we go we are in and this is the um so this is the thing so i can just hit the camera so settings no button no button no button no button so i'm going to um get this working to how I want it okay I'm done if you want to copy my settings there they are so I'm going to hit save and exit and confirm that they have been saved yes they have so now let's load into the launcher that's not what I wanted to do I want to get out of that and load in the what's none oh yeah that's none load into the launcher and it has no music no nothing oh no 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 so um yeah it has no music no nothing and that is when we need to install 
entire CFW. So I will extract this and I will also take out the SD card, wherever it might be. I can't feel it, there it is. I got the SD card, I am now going to turn this off. Take the SD card, put it in and run the higher CFW helper. Alright, there we go, so NAND file. With, oh. Wait, I have a NAND. So, um, NAND. DSI. Leave it in here. NAND.bin. There we go. I would like to install latest Twilight menu on the custom firmware. Clean downloaded files after completion and extract the photo partition from the NAND. Um. What did it just want me to do? Now you'll be asked to choose the SD card path that will be used for installing the custom firmware or an output folder. In order to avoid boot errors, please assure that it is empty before continuing. I am just going to put on the SD card. Just on the root of the SD card. Checking NAND. Downloading latest higher. Here we go, it's, it's doing it! It's doing the thing! Decrypting the NAND. Processing oh, crypt complete. Oh, we have some files. We have some new files on the card. Crypt complete. Oh, and we're putting more files are going on the card. Okay, this is actually um extracting, copying. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Alright, so it says done, eject your SD card and insert it into your DSi. So I will quit, eject the card, move the laptop out, and I will put it back into dark mode. Alright, so we're back. Now I am going to insert the um, SD card into the SD card slot, set the DSi back up, and hold down the A and B buttons. There we go. So now, I can't even do anything. I'm now going to change it no button to higher CFW. I can't, um, sorry, I can't get to this DSi without, um, maybe this is a little better. So, um, save and exit. Now I'm gonna load up higher. Oh! Whoa, this is like the Luma 3DS, um, so region Europe, splash, on, DSi splash, enable showing the DSi splash slash health and safety screen, auto boot title, low title containing higher auto boot and so the DSi menu, um, start, making a new dummy file, okay, you can make your new dummy file, take your time, oh, and it just changed to the higher, Flash screen. Come on. Do the thing. Oh, I cut the. I think we could do even darker. Never mind, that's as dark as we can go. Let's open up our new gift, which is the Twilight menu on the main thing. So, um. Yeah, now I'm going to get some homebrew on here, so yeah, see you in a bit. I removed the SD card, then loaded the Twilight menu. Yeah. Okay, I got some homebrew. Stick it in, and let's just load the Twilight menu. Hopefully all of this works because someone said most homebrew only works with flashcards and I don't have a flashcard. So yeah, let's hope it works with the Twilight menu. I don't have, um, unfortunately, get any games that we can play on this, like NDS, GBA files. But um, yeah, so I put it in a folder named, where is it, DSi. DSi. 
Okay, here we go. So we are going to start with the Master SO flip. I know. Oh! Uh, uh. International 2010? Oh my gosh! Click. No, it's um, it's. Except that, I guess. Well, I don't speak Spanish. I, I assume that says terms and conditions for use of for use of master SO. Well, I don't speak Spanish, so um. See. Can I change the language into, um... Okay, well, so how do I change this? I absolutely hate this. Let me see if I can find some other stuff. Yeah, this is not working. Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't find anything, but I found that people are just saying, oh, just use a regular DSI sound. So I'm gonna play with my music. I got it as an AAC and as an M4A, so it should work. Reading data. <gasps> where, where are the speakers on this? Oh, here they are. Track 4 2018, which is a golden metadata as well. Yeah. I am officially done with this thing. Yup, seriously. I'm done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the audio problems. I did not know about that until I started editing. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you in my next upload.